Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, March 24, 2024. I pray that as we go throughout the day that the Holy Spirit will continue to be with us. I hope that you are in good spirit and that you and your family are doing well and may God continue to show you favor and may his peace and his love continue to be in and on your lives. Our reading today comes to us from Revelation chapter 2 and we will read from verses 8 to 11 and it says and unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write these things say the first and the last which was dead and is alive I know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are synagogue of Satan Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Leaven and last, he that hath an hear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt by the second death. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word and we are on the second church of Revelation. Now, when we look at the, the church of Smyrna, Jesus warns the church about future trial that they would have to endure and he also speaks about the coming period of persecution during which some of them would be thrown into prison. But he also encouraged them not to fear and he also assures them that their suffering it will only be temporary. So according to the reading it says that it will last for 10 days and according to the scripture we understand that a day in prophecy means a literal year and you can check up on that in the Ezekiel 4 6 and Numbers 14 34 so a day means a year so it means therefore that they would endure persecution and suffering for 10 years so the time period in which they endure this persecution was from AD 302 to AD 312 from that time to that time we get 10 years understood but one thing we realize in the passage is that jesus promised those who are faithful and those who endure to the end that they will receive a reward he tells them that they should remain faithful unto death that's how they will receive this reward so he encourages them and he told them that they will receive a crown of life which is symbolizing victory right so they would gain eternal life and victory over death because remember christ already gained victory over death so you see why he announced himself as victor or he used the characteristics that he used each time he announces himself to the church because he's trying to give them that assurance that look here i have already overcome the world and i have already overcome all these things and so you have my testimony and my strength so you too can also overcome in my strength isn't that assuring so the overall passage really emphasized the importance of perseverance and faithfulness in the midst of trials and persecution right and as i said earlier that he promised the eternal reward for those who remain steadfast and committed to, to him christ jesus so when we go through our different trials we must understand that we are not alone and that is why god promised us that he will never leave us nor forsake us and so we need to pull 
on the strength of Christ. He knows exactly how you and I feel. And so when you are persecuted, and as the Bible says, that some of us will be cast into prison, some of us will be killed, just like the church in Smyrna, or just like, you know, Christians who endure that lengthy time of persecution. Yeah, the Bible says it was a short time, but in human terms, it seems very long. But whatever time period or whatever time of trial you and I would have to endure, if we are faithful to the end, we can be assured that we will receive the reward of eternal life. And that is beautiful to know. So trial is never a pleasant thing. And nobody wants to, to really go through trials if we, if we are going to be honest. But it's a part of our experience. It's a part of our growing experience that is going to help us to mature into faithful believers and faithful steward, faithful Christian, faithful servant. It's what is going to help us to renounce the things of this world and turn our eyes on Jesus, right? And so may we accept this gift of eternal life. May we never give up. May we keep fighting the good fight of faith. And I pray that we will stand firm on the foundation of Christ, looking to him who is able to keep us. Because it doesn't matter your trials. It doesn't matter your tribulation. It doesn't matter what you will have to endure as long as you have Christ in the midst. As long as you and I keep our eyes on Christ, as long as we trust in his divine strength, there is nothing that we can't endure. And I give you the example, Paul and Silas in prison. They were in prison, but they break out in praise. They start a praise and worship service in prison. They were in bond. But they knew the God that they served and they realized that there's no chain that could quench the fire that is within them and the love that they have for the God who has always been there for them. And so they could not contain themselves. They had to lift up their voice and give God all the praise that is due to his name. And that is the kind of attitude that we have to to have freedom is much more than being able to walk up and down freely outside freedom is much more than that because you can still be in bond and still be free that's something to think about so may we continue to be faithful as i say and may we continue to trust god because one day all of our troubles will be over and we will be able to reign and live with our with our god and our father forevermore. May God bless you and keep you as you continue to serve him. Amen.